Thank you. Now, this weekend, the Camp for Climate Action protest at Heathrow Airport is expected to reach a climax of direct action. At the moment, the protesters are keeping their disruption plans secret, but their activities this Sunday and Monday aim to make life extremely difficult for the British Airports Authority. But will it also make families, due to fly on their summer holidays, have an even more miserable experience trying to board their planes than usual? We went to the camp to find out. We don't know what's going to happen on Sunday, but it's going to be uh, hopefully loads of people coming together and shouting out, yeah. telling the world. Lots of speculation about what's going to happen this weekend, but I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. We're not going to be attacking runways, we're not going to be targeting holiday makers. Some people have some hassles with the police. I was searched under the Terrorism Act on the way in. I was blatantly not a terrorist, but they used the Terrorist Act to search me. We are not here to disrupt passengers' holidays. That's exactly what we're trying to get away from. As far as the government is concerned and BAA are concerned, this is a done deal, this third runway. We're saying this is not a done deal and we're prepared to put our, our bodies in the way. Well, joining us now are Jenny Jones, Green Party member of the London Assembly, Timothy Lever, one of the campers at Heathrow, and the Sunday Mirror's Kevin O'Sullivan. And Timothy, thanks for uh, leaving the camp and coming here. Um, <clears throat> what are you planning to do and is it going to be peaceful and is it going to affect ordinary people trying to go on their summer holiday? Well, what the camp's all about is hundreds of ordinary people from all over the country coming together to say, building a third runway in a time yeah, of Timothy, we Yeah, know, we know we what know it's about, about. That. but what's going to no, happen this absolutely, weekend? Absolutely, no, no, I'm just, just coming around to that, explaining, right. explaining no, what we, we, We've explained um, that, so you tell us if, what's going to happen this weekend. Well, at the moment it's still being planned, but it's absolutely fundamental that we're not going to do anything that will threaten the health and safety of passengers, of staff, or what about that? What about boarding flights, though? Will you, will oh, of course not, no. I mean, we're not going to go anywhere near the actual aeroplanes themselves or the runways. We've made that clear. From the beginning. Are you going to do? Are you going to disrupt the, 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 the progress of passengers through the terminals? Yes or no? At the moment, it's still being planned, but this is not about targeting passengers. Are you going to disrupt the flow <laughs> of passengers <laughs> through the terminal? Yes or no? We don't. We don't yet know. But the That's point a yes, is, then. Let's go. Wait, 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 come on. It's got to be a yes or no, no, mate. It's either yes or no. At the moment, it's still being planned. We don't know what the action's going to be. Look, but the worst case scenario Hang is. On, so you don't know. The answer the worst, is I don't know. The answer is I don't know. But the worst case scenario is that a few Hang flights. No, will hold, be... hold that. Look, Judy. Hold that <laughs> thought. Hold that thought. Are you going to disrupt the movement of passengers through the terminal? Your answer is. Oh, we're not going to go. Hold on. Your answer was. It's it's still being planned, so I don't know. Um. Okay. Let me let me clarify. Let let me clarify, Richard. Um. We are not going anywhere near the runways or all the terminals themselves. We're basically we're going to be doing things near the airport and what um, well, it's being planned. One one possible you plan keep is that it's being planned one possible we've got some ideas. One plan is we get, we might get together with the local local villagers. There's lots of local villagers whose homes are, will be bulldozed if this runway is built. And we might go out and with them mark the area of the proposed runway so everyone can see exactly how enormous the area is. And would, other... and would that be likely, because you were just saying before, that the mm. worst case scenario would be, would be that maybe a few flights would be affected? A few flights might be affected. delayed. If, but just because we're, there's going to be, because BAA are so paranoid and scared about, about us being there, then they're going to put on lots of extra security, so there probably will be a few extra delays and things like so that. So it'll be their fault? Well, the point <laughs> is that we are there to make a real splash to make people notice that we're there. There's no point just standing in a of field. Of course, oh, that's what a protest and, is about. And the real, target, the real target here is BAA and their crazy plans for expansion. So one of the main targets that we talked about are actually BAA's corporate offices. Let's come to and Jenny. Let's come to Jenny to from, from, from the Green Party. Uh, Jenny, I'd like to quote something back to you that, that you said recently. I think we have to be really straight about You're this. You're being very Jeremy Paxson. It's quite scary. I'm not being Jeremy yeah. Paxson. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to get to the heart of it. I'm trying to cut sure. through the, the BS. Mm. All right? Aviation disrupts our planet, you said, on a massive scale. I'm sorry for people who've saved for their holidays, but you have to understand the bigger picture. Our obsession with aviation has to stop. Now, can you explain to the people watching, who may be flying out of Heathrow tomorrow, why one holiday a year, which may be all they're going on, one flight out, one flight back, equals an obsession with aviation. Well, you've got to remember that most people who fly out of Heathrow are not actually the poorest section of society who are actually only taking one holiday a year. That's actually the minority of people. In fact, a third of the people so who use Heathrow... So why target Heathrow all this stuff? Why, why, target a, <coughs> why, why target one of the busiest... Well, I don't know why the camp. Not for business <coughs> flights. Not for business flights. I don't know why the camp has chosen August, but I imagine it's because a lot of people are free, and so they can come Absolutely. and spend exactly um, right. a week or two weeks mm. in in uh, oh, putting rubbish. the camp it's up. Because well, the airport is no, busy. No, but to, be, no, but to no. be fair, Timothy has taken your own annual summer leave to join Absolutely. the camp, haven't you? So there is and a point. Well, we actually we planned the camp. We planned the camp before we knew we were coming to Heathrow. You could take your annual leave in March, couldn't you? 
But we knew, we decided August a long time ago, because lots of people who are teachers or people with families, there's lots of people with families come to the camp. What do you, what do you